This is my custom deep water culture hydroponic system. I'm using three 27 gallon totes with six sites, six sites in each one. Um, I'm using five inch net pots with uh, hydro hydrogen or hydrogen, I don't know how to say it. Just, just puffed clay pellets. These are my six strawberry plants. Um, I got three Pretty in Pink and three Ozark Beauties. The ones with the pink flowers are the Pretty in Pink. Uh, I've had one strawberry grown here for, I don't know, about a week. I think it's going to die though because the plant's not really fully good right now because it's still under stress from the transfer from soil to water. Um, this is my, I guess you can call it sump system. When it rains, the water just goes through this tube and overflows out of the hole I drilled. Um, it helps so I can see the water level and it keeps it where I want it. Here's a closer view right here. I just marked the line and then drilled a hole. I mean, so far it's worked out pretty good. In the future I want to get um, an opaque tube. I just haven't had time to go get one. Just so algae doesn't grow inside the tube. Um, these are my peppers. I have uh, I think five peppers, banana pepper, bell pepper, jalapeno, habanero, and I have two banana peppers. And then I might try cantaloupe. I'm not sure yet. I have one open site in this box. My habanero is all the way to the left, to the bottom left. Those are my two sweet peppers, sweet bananas. And then that's my jalapeno right there, in the top left and my bell pepper in the middle left, or middle. These are my tomatoes. I got four big boy hybrids and two cherry tomatoes in the middle. Now on my tomatoes, these are where the roots are looking the best. The roots are really taking off, growing down into the water real nice. Not so much with my strawberries, but my peppers are definitely better than my strawberries. Here's a closer view at my tomatoes. Doing pretty good so far. And this is my air hose. I have a pump running from my garage. Just straight out of my garage. It's just a commercial air pump. I think it, pu it puts out about 70 liters a minute. So it's a pretty big one. I could probably run about 10 to 15 totes off of that. But right now I'm only doing three. I thought I'd, you know, buy a big pump in case I ever wanted to expand. These totes all the way filled up hold 27 gallons, but with my 5 inch net pots, I only have them filled up to about 16 gallons, and they're about an inch into the, into the net pot. This is my rain barrel. I have it attached to the gutter on my garage. I know it's a white rain barrel, but I just recently painted it black so algae wouldn't grow because I had water in there and it got really nasty. I had to dump it all out. Now I'm going to show you some pictures I snapped while I was taking this video. This first one here is, uh, these are my roots for my tomato plants. These are the roots from my peppers. And both of those are doing pretty good. I didn't put my strawberries in there because they aren't looking too good. I don't know why. But that's a pepper leaf. That's, uh, I think that's from my jalapeno pepper plant. Uh, that's my strawberry that's dying because my plant's under stress still. It's uh, a strawberry flower. And that's my valve system for my air. Came with my commercial air pump, 70 liters an hour. And that's my level system. There's the hole to keep the water where I want it when it rains, it just overflows right out of there. It's my rain barrel. Um, tomato roots. This is only after one week, so they're doing pretty good after a week, I think. And that's my pepper. He's doing good, too. And that's 